Good morning, everybody. I'm doing a Love in Separation reading for today. Um, for those of you who have been following the channel for a while, I'm going to be moving these to probably about two times a week, probably going to be doing uh, on Wednesday and maybe Friday or Saturday, uh, because it doesn't look like I'm getting a huge amount of people that are watching the, the full reading. So with that, let's get to the full reading. Um, please like, follow, share, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube and watching live, say hello. And if I have time at the end, I will pull some cards. However, every Monday and Thursday, I go live with the Angelic Spiritual Susan to answer questions. Uh, so with that, let's get to the re let's get to the energy. Spirit, what is the current energy of love and separation? Spirit is saying today, you may not have, <coughs> have always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. All right, so a few of you are going through a little bit of a turmoil. Um, and through that turmoil, there is going to be some clarity. And once that clarity happens, uh, you're going to find yourself energetically in a better place. So with that, let's look at what some other energies are uh, within this connection and separation. And for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, please like, follow, share, and subscribe. And... Let's uh, take a look at what we have here. So we have real feelings, right? So you have real feelings and there's a perfect match that's on its way to you. But you've got to stay forever young. And what does that mean? It means you've got to stay in that lighthearted child mode. Work on that inner child healing to get to that space. You get any other energies that want to come through? And we do twin flame union. So we have a twin flame union uh, starting to come through again. And this has uh, been hinted quite a bit within the cards uh, for the past, I'd, I'd say, month. Uh, we're starting to see that. Uh, we have a big energy portal going on right now between the 7-7 seven, seven and the 8-8 eight, eight portal. So things are hopefully aligning in the right place. So let's see what messages Spirit wants to give us. Spirit, what messages do you want to give us today on this connection and separation? Okay, Spirit's given us a few messages here. So let's go through them one by one. Daydreaming. Your person's always longing for you. They know you can never be replaced. They feel like a part of them is missing without you. Your love is always there despite the difference, right? So it's real feeling, so more confirmation. I want to tell you the truth, right? And so your person wants to tell you the truth. However, they're also overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining because this has been a hard separation. And reflection, being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. And didn't we just talk about clarity over here? So your person is, is starting to find that, that clarity uh, within themselves. So let's get a few more uh, messages around uh, love. And... So those of you who are also new to the channel, uh, just make sure you like, follow, share, subscribe. Every Monday and Thursday, I do answer questions uh, with a co-host, the lovely uh, angelic spiritual Susan. Uh, we will we take one question per person. Uh, we'll do some mini reads on there as well. Uh, we have a special right now, mini reads, $20 uh, with a free light language or Reiki and full reads are at $40. Uh, just look at my contact information in uh, the description of this or in the uh, in my profile to see how you can contact me to get a reading uh, or some light language healings. So with that, let's see what other energy Spirit wants to show us today. Okay. So we have the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform, what's dead is dead, right? And for some people, that means that what you thought was a twin really wasn't a twin, and it's over, it's gone, that relationship's gone, because spirit is pushing you to see the truth, self-worth, value, time to heal, shadow work, right? So a lot of us are going through some self-worth issues right now. You've got to get to that deep shadow work. Once you get to that deep shadow work, the potential will come for here. 
not enough, right? Lacking confidence, self-sabotage, ego, fear, and frustrations. And that also is coming through the collective a lot that we're feeling like we're not enough. Our ego is getting in the way. Fear is starting to come out. And what we have to do is we have to go past that fear and transform. Get to lightheartedness, adapt, finding out, change things coming to light to heal. And those things that are coming that are triggering you are coming to light to heal because you haven't wanted to face it. So spirit's now forcing you to face it, whether you like it or not. But stay lighthearted and transmute that emotion rather than allowing it to rule you. So with that, spirit, any other messages around this connection and separation? Okay, and Spirit's basically giving us confirmation of what uh, we already just talked about, deception, Something's where someone is wearing a mask in the relationship, right? They're not showing their true self. Leave your fears behind. They're stopping this relationship from blossoming because you're afraid you're not enough. Keep the door open. Don't be fo so focused on a closed door that you don't see ones that open for you, right? And what does that mean? It means that, you know, if you put boundaries up and you close the door to anything, then nothing can come in. Have faith. The angels are working behind the scenes to make this relationship flourish. So you're getting divinely guided and supported. Yes, this person is your soulmate. Your connection is sacred. You do have a contract. But you have to free yourself. You do not need to be in control of everything for a love relationship to be successful. Right? So Spirit is telling us that we don't have to be in that place of control. Fear is what makes us want to control things because we're afraid what will happen if I don't do this, if I do that, if I don't. That's the problem. So let's get some direct messages uh, from our Divine Masculine. In separation, let's see what the Divine Masculine in separation wants to tell us today. So Spirit, what is that Divine Masculine in separation wanting to say to us today? Give me any messages. This deck doesn't seem to want to give us any messages. There we go. Any more messages, Spirit? Okay. So your divine masculine is saying, I hide my feelings. You didn't see my tears, right? Because you felt that they just kind of walked away and didn't really feel anything about when you guys broke up. And they're still waiting for you to make things right. They haven't really gotten to that place of understanding that, you know, it takes two to tango and they have to see their own culpability into it. Let's get some more uh, messages. From the Divine Masculine in separation. Remember, Divine Masculine is an energy. It is not a gender. Spirit, what more messages we have from the Divine Masculine? Ooh, too many, Spirit. I won't take that many. I'll take these two. The last guys are not going to be taking. Okay, regret. Again, more confirmation. I regret ever letting you go. They ghosted you to buy time to get themselves together. They don't believe in the twin flames or soulmates, right? And that's because they're in their head right now. And I want to see you so badly, right? And they want to get to that union. They want to get to that communication. But they can't express their feelings. They're incapable of being open or vulnerable. And I was just a catalyst sent to you to force necessary changes in your life. I might be a false twin flame. And for some of you, and we've been seeing this for a while, there is potential that there is a false twin flame uh, within your field. And you just have to use your discernment uh, to figure that out. Uh, let's get a uh, message around, you know, where are we inside of this twin flame journey? What? What part of it are we in? And Spirit, where are we in this connection in the Twin Flame journey? Show us. We're in the generator, staying grounded, right? And so Spirit's telling us we need to stay grounded at this point because we're being tested. There's a lot of tests going on, and we have to 
really lean into our intuition, to our inner knowing, to really figure out what's going on, what is real, what is illusion. And as we do that, uh, we can move forward with um, that Twin Flame Union. So let's see what our higher self's advice is for us today. Higher self, what do you want to tell us today? Okay, our higher self has given us two cards. You're experiencing a spiritual blossoming. Take a new direction and be open to new experiences. So Spirit's saying, you know, especially those with the twin flame, it's time to heal the false twin flame. It's time to heal. You're blossoming. Trust that intuition. Go into it and change your direction because you're not seeing things as they should be. And the time for romance has come. So romance is there. Get that door open and start moving ahead with it. So let's get a timing on that. When we'll say spirit, when is that romance going to come in? When can we see that? Can you give us a clue when that new romance, that, that new connection is coming through? Spirit saying in about a year. Right? So you've got a lot to go to uh, for that. Uh, we're looking at about a year, one year later. So, and I've seen that a lot in the in the read. So, take this time this year to do some healing. If this has resonated with you, this reading is for you. Uh, please like, follow, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, I do have a group healing for those who want to, you know, take their healing path and accelerate it. I'm going to be doing a group healing with uh, Spiritual Susan around the 8th of August. Uh, we're just taking names right now of people who are interested. If you could just uh, email me, contact information is in the description. It's going to be an hour uh, plus, maybe up to two hours, depending upon how many people uh, of light language uh, healing that's uh, channeled directly for the specific needs of the group, as well as um, Reiki for the for the group, as well as some cards to kind of help guide you into what the next steps and what your year is going to kind of look like. We, we've trying to schedule it around the 8-8 uh, eight -eight portal because the energies that are incoming uh, from the 8-8 eight -eight portal are ones that you're not going to get anytime else during the year, which can really amplify and uh, help your healing path. So if you're interested, please uh, send an email. The information's in the pro my profile, contact information through my link tree, or just send it to silver.fox.affirmations at gmail.com. All that information's in the description. I'd like to thank everybody for watching and have a great day.